Well, hello friends. We are gonna head out thrifting. I got my two girls behind me, and so I have about an hour, hour and a half to spend. We're gonna do some thrifting and maybe some antiquing. I'm gonna be pretty um, precise in what I look for. I wanna look for a bench for the girls because there's one I wanna put in our kitchen because they've been sitting on our Christmas box and they're loving that. So I wanna find a bench and I need a new picnic basket that I store some toys in because it got broken. So I'm gonna look for those two things and maybe a few other pieces um, like some frames to make a gallery wall. So just a few things on my agenda to look for. So let's go ahead and go into savers first. Do some shopping girls? Yeah? <laughs> okay. All right, I'll always look at faux greens. Well, that's rather pretty. Do you like that? I don't Well, I don't know, it's 4.49. I have some reads like that at home already. This looks like it would go around a candle. Oh, those are cute hydrangeas. Let's see. Need some more. This is cute. It's a little candle holder. It's really pretty. This is really pretty if you're into the farmhouse look. And that's $14.99. Me... Oh, this is nice. Uh. Baskets, yep. I always look at baskets, don't I? That's this little red basket. These are cute. Like this one just is coming apart. That one's like an Easter basket. This one looks like something to hold mail in or something. You'd put your mail in it or like some magazines. Here's a little single bench. May I get it? I don't think we'll get this one. Should we look at it? It's kind of little, huh? a really cute table for in a kitchen. That's cute. It's a cute basket. $30 though. <laughs> oh, that's just a cute basket. Just a little bit expensive. Alright, what a cute bench. <laughs> but it's $70. So, <laughs> yeah. A really cute bench though.
Oh, so many little things. Wonderful. I do always have to look at copper when I'm out. This is really pretty. Be cute with some plants in it or something like that. It's a really nice big farmhouse table. Oh, that would be perfect for in our kitchen and switch something out. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna share with you what I found out thrifting and antiquing. I'll share what I got at the thrift store first and then at the antique store. So I always have a rule that I like to get rid of things if I'm bringing other items in. Yes, I do also resell some of these pieces in my antique booth, but even if I'm gonna keep them in my home, I wanna make sure it's a need. It's something that I will absolutely use, something that I'll absolutely love, and make sure that I'm not overcrowding my home. So we're gonna get started. First is my favorite, this plate. It was, I took all the price tags off and it's actually a week later. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt, but um, I think it was $4.50 and you can check the footage. Anyways, it is a Johnson Bros England. It's an ironstone plate and I can't ever pass up ironstone. I use them to decorate on my shelves. I use them to serve. So this is definitely something that will be used in my home. All right, I found two frames like this for $6 a piece. Kind of hurt to spend that much on some frames, but I'm wanting to make a gallery wall with some family pictures. And so I really like this gold pattern. And honestly, the picture on the inside is pretty as well. So it, did, it does have paper on the back. So I wasn't sure, but I already tore one apart and it should be okay to put a picture in. It is like glued in there, so I'll have to figure out how to get the picture in there, but the frames are just beautiful. So I paid $12 for two frames. A little pricey for me, but that is what it is right now. Cause sometimes you do have to invest a little bit if you're really wanting to put something together or it's a need that you have. All right, last thing at the thrift store was this basket and it's to help organize my chest freezer. We are, getting uh, more meat, deer meat, pork, things like that. So I needed another organization item and metal baskets are nice for freezers and it was $5. All right, the next items were from the antique store and pretty much all from the same booth. So I found a lot of these doilies there. This one I think was like 49 cents. This pack of different sizes, different patterns was I think $1.49. I'm not, don't quote me on some of these prices, but these I will put back in my booth, antique booth, because I've had a lot of people looking for pieces like this and I can price it like $8 or something. So that was a fun find. I did pick up this step stool for a dollar for or $3.49, $1.49. I mean, it's a very solid wood step stool and my girls love sitting on these. This pitcher was I think $1.49 as well and it looks great on my accordion style rack or my espresso machine. It would be something I could see myself putting flowers in in the spring and summer. It's just beautiful. Um, you know, no markings on the bottom, but I just really like it. Got it cleaned out and I already have it hanging on my accordion style rack. And then I did get a Korean Ives little creamer piece that I'll insert footage here too and that was like a dollar 49 as well and I collect those for Christmas time and it's just so beautiful with that blue the train on it definitely a piece I wouldn't pass up my final piece is this large picnic basket this is something I needed because ours broke that stored toys in it. it does have like a little chip on the top, but it was $6.49, which is like the cheapest I've ever seen for a picnic basket. It's full of the gross um, old vintage <laughs> plates that I'm not a fan of. So I will be getting rid of those, but keeping this to store some toys and for a decorative piece. So that is it for my haul. I love thrifting and antiquing, but I also enjoy the decluttering part. That way I can bring pieces I enjoy into my home. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in the next one.